Hello, first graders and family. I'm Mrs. Rodriguez. I hope you have had a chance to um, join Class Dojo and also our Google Classroom. Um, there you will find um, very important information and I put a little bit of uh, things about me so you can learn about me. I'm really trying to get prepared for our first day of virtual learning and I'll have more on that soon. But I did want to go over the packets that you are picking up from school and your new Chromebook that you are picking up. Hopefully everybody has gotten that. So you got a big yellow envelope like this. So we're just going to kind of walk through this envelope so you know what you need to do. So when you open it up and take everything out, um, let me just say that it's all of these things will need to come back to class when we return to school in person. So please keep it in the envelope or somewhere safe so that you can return everything, okay? The first um, group of papers is for parents. And I know parents, you have a yellow sheet and that yellow sheet on the top tells you step-by-step step how to log your child in on their new Chromebook. If you have any questions or need support, at the bottom of that yellow page is um, the tech support team and they can help you with that. And please feel free to message me on Class Dojo or on Google Classroom and if I can help you with that, I will. So parents, that first packet is for you. Make sure that you fill out the emergency forms and all those things that were there. Okay, you'll also see some parent expectations and how you can support your children in distance learning. Uh, the daily schedule is there, which it's also posted on Google Classroom and Class Dojo. And this is tentative because, as you know, we're just going to have to see how things work out and we might have to adjust. Okay. And also, a great thing for you to do is to log into Epic. It's free digital books. So whenever your child needs to read books, of course reading paper books will be the best, but if you're getting low on paper books, if they've been reading them all summer and you need some new things to read, Epic is a great way to get all kinds of books at all grade levels, okay? So feel free to join that if you'd like. Okay, there is a um, journal in there for students. We're gonna work on that later, don't lose it. Okay, and you have a red or an orange folder with your name on it, okay? So students, this is really important. These are all your papers for the first quarter of school. It should get you through the mid-October. Again, if we don't finish everything in distance learning when we come back to the classroom, this will need to come with you, so do not lose it, okay? And it's best to keep everything in there, and there's kind of some loose papers, so make sure they don't fall out. You also will find some workbooks. You have your shared reader for unit one and two. This is for reading and you have three chapters in Go Math, okay? So Go Math chapter one will start right away. Um, this one, we will not start right away. The first two weeks of reading um, curriculum is going to be a lot of review. So you won't need your reading book right away. So just keep it in your folder. Okay, when you look in your folder in the first side, you'll see the expectations Okay, we're gonna be going over these all together in class and learning how to use all, um, all these symbols and what they mean and how to use them in our Chromebooks. Okay, then you'll see a alphabet handwriting practice. This is going to be what we're going to use for the first two weeks of school. This is the review and routines for reading. Okay, so this one you're gonna need to keep handy. The rest of the stuff on this side is when we get to unit one. So that will be after we finish reviewing. So that probably won't be till um, the end of August, okay? Over here in the middle, we're gonna be going over your sound spelling cards every day. So I, I want you to always have it handy. Every time you come log on for class, I want you to have this ready. We're gonna go over it, okay? These are your high frequency words for the whole year of first grade. So by the end of first grade, you should know how to read all these words and read them quickly, okay? So these are not words we're gonna sound out, we're gonna just read them quickly. So parents, if your child doesn't know it, read it to them, 
Have them repeat it, read it again, repeat it, no sounding out, okay? You have your numbers from one to 120. One of your standards in first grade is to be able to write them on your own. So you'll notice on the back, you have a blank chart. I put one and 120. So this is for you to practice writing your numbers in order from one to 120. So you can use the whiteboard marker that's included in your packet and practice writing your numbers facing the right direction. If you need help, you refer to the other side. Eventually, erase it when you're done. Eventually, you wanna be able to do it without any help, without looking, okay? So that's something to practice. Another tool we're going to use is um, 10 frames in math and a number line. So that's included in your packet, okay? On the back, you'll see a blank one, and this is to use as a whiteboard. So you can write right on top of this with your whiteboard marker, and then you can erase it with a sock or a Kleenex or a paper towel, whatever you happen to have at home. Okay, so your whiteboard marker is included in your packet. Make sure you keep the lid on tight so that it stays clean so it doesn't get um, dried out. And don't lose it. Put it, keep it in your folders or in your yellow envelope so that it doesn't get lost so you'll have it when you come to class. So when you come on your Chromebook, you need to have your folder ready, you need to have a whiteboard marker, and be ready, okay? At the, in the back, this is unit two, so this is, um, we will not get to these papers for much, much, much later, okay? So if they're falling out and, you know, it's hard for your child to use their folder and these are falling out, then go ahead and put them back in the yellow envelope so that they stay safe and don't get lost because we will not need them right away, okay? Because everything we're gonna do first is in the front of the folder, okay? Um, other than that, I'm really excited for us to get started on next Thursday, uh, ready to learn. So I'll be um, in touch with you more as we go. Feel free to call the school. You can message me. You could also send me an email at srodriguez at delhiusd.org. Feel free to email me then. All right, students, I look forward to seeing you next week. Parents, thank you. Have a great day.